On March 21st, 1991, I was arrested in the Union Sex Salon I owned in New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, New York City Police and New Haven Police came and arrested me, brought me back to Kings County and charged me with murder. Um, I laid up on the island, the Rikers Island, for about eight months. Went to trial. A witness came in and accused me of uh, shooting a man, Daniel Cass, uh, seven times with a pistol, despite the fact that there was forensic evidence that showed the guy was shot with two different weapons. So um, based on this single witness misidentification, I was convicted. When the crime happened, the police officers came to the scene of the crime and they asked her whether or not she'd seen the murder. She told them she didn't see the crime. There was a detective by the name of Scott Silla. A fight had broke out from this witness and the deceased sisters. And uh, after the fight, they took it to the precinct. The detective told her, according to the witness, that if she didn't implicate me in the murder, she would go to jail, her kids would be taken away from her. So she changed her story from not witnessing the murder and implicated me as the shooter. I was released from Auburn Correctional Facility on uh, November 7th, 2011, after serving 20 years and seven months for a murder that I did not commit. So I have no anger, you know what I mean? I'm just sad in the fact that I you know, missed out on you know, a lot of family time, and I'm trying to get that back. My brother, we doing uh, a Christmas drive that he got for some people in the homeless shelter. I want to be a part of that. Our Redemption Point is a program on Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn, and they're giving back to society as well. They're going out to mentor young youth that's at risk youth that's out there doing crazy stuff. I'm gonna have a kid to them, try to keep them from going through what I went through at a young age. Um, I wanna do some proud legal work because I enjoy that. You know, and I just wanna live my life, you know, and just enjoy my family and my children and my grandchildren and things of that nature. You can never lose patience if you're innocent. So my whole uh, courage was the fact that I was innocent. So I just put motion after motion, forward after forward. You know, I went through some things in prison. Of course, the depression can come sometime overwhelm you. But there wasn't an option. I couldn't, you know, not fight. That wasn't an option for me. It was either fight or remain in prison the rest of my life. So I had to keep fighting. You know what I mean? I had to have, you know, perseverance and, you know, be committed to my cause because I knew I was innocent. It wouldn't make sense to give up. If I was giving up, I would be in prison the rest of my life. I just want to tell anybody that might be in my situation, don't ever give up. That the system works, no matter what we may think. If you got faith and you got courage, you know, something will happen for you.